Android interface is, is a uh, distributed storage uh, software. You can form the basis of a uh, class scale storage. Can you hear me now? Okay. So my slides talk mostly about, uh, about HBase uh, as an open source project. Uh, to start with. I have a lot of material on my slides, and I probably won't be able to cover it all in half an hour. I apologize for that. Um, my slides are, will be available at hbase.org, uh, along with the, the other information about our project, so feel free to visit there. Okay, so uh, what is a big table in, in HBase? Uh, it's a response to challenges with storage and computational aspects of very large data sets, uh, specifically scalability issues, um, and uh, limitations with relational databases at very large scale. Um, so Bigtable was developed at Google, but their solution is proprietary. So uh, HBase is one of several open source projects which are more or less faithful Bigtable clones, making this infrastructure available in an open source manner for anyone to use. Uh, HBase also has a uh, focus in, uh, with the most recent release on uh, real-time responsiveness. So fast, random access, and uh, high write uh, update rate. So it's a, an option to build a uh, very large scale structured storage platform, uh, the features of which meet the requirements of many uh, so-called web 2.0 use cases. So uh, a little bit about the, more about the fundamentals of the problem. So when you, look at, when you think about databases uh, at scale, the uh, access to that data, uh, if you're updating it, is dominated by the uh, seek transfer rate of uh, modern storage devices. Uh, and, and so this is this has come about because CPU, RAM, and disk size double about every 18 to 24 months, but the seek time has remained uh, nearly constant, growing at about 5% over many years. So, uh, as you probably know, there are two database paradigms. There's the, the seek paradigm, which most relational databases use. Uh, updates and accesses uh, use B trees to seek around the disk, find a location where to store the data, and then store it. Uh, another model. Uh, which is used by Bigtable and uh, MapReduce, uh, where flat, when flat files are used, is a transfer model where rather than uh, search and replace, the entire database is rewritten. And it actually turns out that at very large scale, it is more efficient to completely rewrite the database than it is to seek and replace, um, an example of which is here. Uh, uh, just suffice it to say, it's several orders of magnitude faster to completely rewrite the database for use cases such as this. So uh, at scale, uh, relational databases have performance problems, especially considering analytic workloads. Analytic workload is basically table scan. Okay. Uh, in, in which case, when you're dealing with very large data, it, it exceeds the ability of any single server, uh, no matter how large the server is, to process uh, all of that query in a timely manner. Um, it also gets to be very expensive to use uh, SAN and other storage, uh, uh, network, network attached storage devices. Uh, so uh, Google's insight was, well, why don't we try to design something which operates simple uh, and can operate on cheap hardware um, and uh, avoid some of the problems you see on the latter part of my slide where uh, in, in relational database systems, especially uh, if you're using a uh, highly normal schema, uh, with um, uh, maybe foreign key references or secondary indexes or whatever, the uh, weights and deadlocks rise non-literally with the transaction size and the currency, so especially if you're doing large updates or large scans. Um, the uh, performance impact on the, on the database engine is large. Um, and uh, when you use open source uh, relational databases like MySQL or Postgres, when you, when you use those at scale for performance reasons, often you give uh, up most relational features such as secondary indexes for performance anyhow. So what if we traded relational features for performance, we remove relational features from the data model, we avoid weights and deadlocks by minimizing this unnecessary locking, uh, provide a transparent and horizontal scalability without architectural limits, uh, and provide fault tolerance and data availability, availability by way of the same mechanisms, and also allow it to run on cheap commodity hardware. So this is Big Table. Um, invented by Google, the way they describe it is it's a distributed storage system for managing structured data that is designed to scale to a very large size. Petabytes of data across thousands of commodity servers. 
Its, uh, it's uh, data type is specifically a sparse, persistent, multidimensional map. Uh, the way I like to describe it, though, is a column-oriented, semi-structured data store, which is strongly consistent. And it's an engineering response to the storage of massive data sets, data analytic use cases, and the expense of commercial solutions for the same. In contrast to uh, the earlier side, which talked about the, the non-linear um, behavior of relational database engines at very large scale, Bigtable, in contrast, is uh, lo logarithmic or linear for all of its operations, despite extreme scale. Uh, so, but to gain this performance, performance advantage, you give up just about all of the, re the relational model and its benefits. So HBase is an open source project, a Hadoop sub-project uh, under the Apache Software Foundation umbrella. It was originally uh, written at a company called PowerSet in 2007. PowerSet has been acquired by Microsoft um, and continues to get support. Uh, from Microsoft, which uh, we are grateful they allow several of their employees to work on HBase full time. Uh, and Trend Micro also allows uh, a developer to work nearly full time on HBase, which is myself. So, HBase is a faithful clone of the proprietary Bigtable architecture enhanced with additional features that have been developed by the community. For example, uh, Fast vault recovery uh, by way of Zookeeper, which is also an Apache, uh, sorry, the Duke. Subproject. Uh, we su support query pushdown by a server side uh, query and scanner filters. We have optimizations for real time queries. We our, our data storage cluster handles roll and restarts um, and other various smaller uh, uh, enhancements. So let's talk a little bit more about what is Big Table in space. Not it's not a SQL database. Um, as I've already talked about, the data the model does not support normalized schemas. So really, if you, if you think of think of HBase in terms of database, it's a uh, it, it does, it, you do have columns, uh, rows, and tables, but you have only a primary index. Um, and its engine is not a relational query engine. It's something totally different. It's basically a scan engine, a table scan engine, um, a self scaling table scan engine. Um, we did, we did, unfortunately, I don't think we'll have time to go into uh, more detail about this. Uh, and another limitation of Bigtable and HBase is that there's limited uh, atomicity and tra transaction support. Really, you can take a lockout on a row, update a row, and that's it. So the data model of HBase is, uh, is a map, basically a hash map, but the keys are multidimensional, right? You have, the, you have your table, right? And then you have rows, and then columns within that row. Um, Columns can optionally ha have a qualifier, and there's also a time dimension, timestamp, so we store, uh, store data with timestamps as a first class uh, indexing option. Uh, you can think of it in some ways like a spreadsheet, uh, an enormous spreadsheet. So keys are arbitrary strings, uh, access to row data is atomic, uh, and uh, an important feature of the, of the big table and HBase uh, data model is this, the concepts of multi-versioning and timestamps. And you store a data to a specific cell. You can have more than one versions in that cell. It's indexed by time. So the canonical use case is a data storage for web crawls, where the web crawl happens periodically. And uh, what this allows you to do in a very clean manner is to store uh, to sort of store data in such a way that snapshots of changing web content can be reconstructed over time. So. Uh, HBase is column-oriented storage. It, it's a little bit like a spreadsheet, but you should think about instead uh, in terms of tags. Right? Rows have our index pointers to a series of tags. Um, uh, so within the row, you have a number of, of uh, keys and values. Any number of keys and values, perhaps millions. Um, 